Hi guys, we're back in Minecraft. Uh, this is part two of our survival series. And part one, we've got our melon farm, and we have a melon, so let's go collect it. Uh, in this video, I'll be showing you uh, how to make a little house if you're needing to, if you're out in the middle of nowhere and you need to survive. So, because I just ran out of somewhere and found this place. And I use inventory editor for all of this, but you don't need to. You just need to have some melon seeds. You don't even need to have this much melon seeds. And you can just make normal, you know. I mean, I just felt like, uh, I just don't want to waste a lot of time going and collecting all this stuff. So, so like getting on with the video. So what I'm going to be doing here is telling you how to make a little house. Okay. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to collect a lot of wood. Okay, so I went out and collected a bunch of wood. I've got s three stacks of 64. Okay, so what we're going to start out with is always, always, always a crafting bench. Doesn't matter where you place it, you just always need a crafting bench. Okay. Now right click it and build some... No, you don't need to build anything right now. Just get your planks into your inventory so you can get ready to build. Alright, start off with, we're gonna go get a plank, get some planks. One, two, three, 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 four. Okay, you're gonna do the same thing over here. One, two, three, four. Then you're gonna go about however long you need to. I say five is good since we're just trying to survive out here. I think I'm on five. One, two, three, four, five. And just connect those. Okay, that was a fail. Where's my axe? Oh yeah, I dropped it over here. Okay, so just keep going. Alright, now you just build it up two more spaces high. Alright, so once you've got that, we're gonna work on the roof, okay? So it's really simple. We're not gonna be making a fancy roof, we're just gonna be making a roof that'll cover our heads from spiders. It's not going to have a point on it, it's just going to be just a regular old flat roof, just the way it... Ah! Break. Okay, we got to make this a little bit bigger. Alright. With all this laggy that we got going on, we got a little bit of lag. Okay. You gotta knock these down. Fell down, fail. All right. So once you've got that way right there. You're just going to start filling in from the bottom. So you're just going to go do this until you fill it up. Alright. Okay, so once you've done that, we are going to go down and get our crafting bench and bring it inside. Did I pick that up? Yep. Put it back in a corner somewhere. And you're going to make yourself a door. And as you can see, like, it took a lot of wood. I started off with three stacks and lost two whole stacks. Alright, so. Gonna come outside. This is one of the most important parts. You gotta place it like that. Not inside and place it like that, but you gotta go outside and place it. That's 
one of the main things. So now what you're going to do is you're going to light this baby up. Get your torches out and light it up. You probably don't, if you're stuck in the wild, you probably don't have as much torches as I do, but I use an inventory editor so I didn't have to go out and collect all this crap. I just like light. I wish you could put light on the ceiling. Alright. Once you've got that, you'll come over here. I always find it really helpful to make a large chest. Okay, so now we can make two of the two chests and put them together to, for one large chest. Okay. Put it right there and just keep some stuff in there because it's like keep your watermelon. That's the good thing about this watermelon farm is because if you harvest it good, you're going to have a ton of food. If you just stay inside and at night and work outside, at day you'll be just fine. You'll be absolutely fine. Just make sure you always harvest your crops in the morning. See? See how quick that pot back? This, I know that's not lag because I'm on single player, so. And Sam doesn't lag on single player. Oh, good, good, good. Try not to step on your watermelon. Ah! Gosh. Probably gonna stack when I get done with this. If you keep it well hydrated, it'll grow really good. And that way it hydrates it very well. Okay. I got 43 water dots from that one harvest right there. Now I can come inside. Put it in my chest. And I have food. Food for days. Alright. So if you get hungry, I mean, you have tons of food. Now, probably in the next video, I'll be showing you how to make... It's going to be a really short tutorial. It'll be just like how to make an unlimited water source if you don't know how. But uh, if you like the video and it helps you, thanks for watching. And rate, comment, subscribe. Bye.